Washington, you're a feral about, you know, you think about sitting in the Oval Office, and that was his response. Off he goes. Is. He's basically running a non-stop reality show on cable news channels. That's what the man is doing. And look who's here. A man who knows a thing or two about a reality show, John Taffer, host of Bar Rescue. Now, John, am I right there? I'm saying that he's transformed politics by running an ongoing reality show. You with me? In a sense, yes. Well, he had an audience before he became a politician. So, you know, there's a transition. He's taking his audience with him. He's adding to it. He's also connecting. We can't ignore that. He's yeah. connecting. Yeah. And, you know, the other day he was talking about how the establishment is going to turn against him, or there's rumors about that. You know, those are the political interests which he's fighting against. Yeah. So it all might play to his favor if he keeps playing this game right. Why do I feel that you are a bit like Trump? You are, you know. D do you object to me saying that? <laughs> No, not at all. You know, I, I think that, that, that uh, uh, he tackles what's ahead of him. If he has objectives each day, he achieves those objectives. And I can understand why he reacted the way he did when you asked him about being president. He's focused on today's objectives. He's a businessman. He's going to close his objectives today, and then he's going to move to tomorrow and deal with those objectives. He strategizes, and then he deals with his objectives daily. That sounds like a pretty good chief executive to me, doesn't it? Yeah, well, yes, and he's got 32% support in the latest poll. That's the I, first time for a long time he's been above 30%, but he's there as of right now. I'm going to change subject entirely. This is in your turf I'm talking now, John. Chipotle. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think they sell a lot of expensive rice and beans, and they're not selling as many rice and bean burritos as they were because the stock is down nearly 50 bucks. Could you turn them around? Do you, do you think there's a problem in the first place? And B, could you turn them around? Yes, you know, some of these brands have honeymoons almost to it when they start out. And people go and they kick the tires and they try it. And then if the menu doesn't really compel them, if it doesn't create frequency, an item that you love or something new that you want to try, you know, that kicking the tire doesn't become coming back again and again. And that's what I think Chipotle is going through. I think they're going through a flat period. They need some new menu items. They need to excite the brand again. When a brand as new as that gets a little tired this early, that's a distressing sign. You know, John, I hear you've gone political on us. I hear that you are lobbying Republicans to help save small businesses. What's this all about? I am. You know, this is really personal to me, Stuart. In my bar rescue work, I travel around the country almost 40 weeks a year. And I was in a city I won't mention, and, and four blocks of their downtown was gutted, empty. And big business is not going to occupy the stores in these little main streets across America. So I put together something called the Small Business Rescue Act, whereby if a downtown area in a city of about 200,000 population has three, four, five, or six consecutive blocks that are 65% commercial space, 60% unoccupied, they would qualify to be a rescue zone. Then American citizens who live within 50 miles and hire 60% local employees can open businesses in those zones and pay no profit-related federal or state taxes for three years. In essence, a complete moratorium, cluster the businesses up together, give them urgency together, so 8, 10, 12 open at the same time, and we can reignite Main Street across America. That's and I call it the Small Business Rescue Act. Okay, w we like the sound of that. Come back and tell us more about it. And tell us any progress that you've got going for you, okay? John Taffer. Well, I've made initial reaches to the candidates. We're going to be talking with them in the next couple of weeks. And I'm really looking for people to adopt it and say the word small business. Stuart. We open 600,000 small businesses a year, a year, and we're closing 720,000. Okay, point Small taken, businesses John. used to be 60% owned by family. Now they're 42% owned by family. So by creating these zones downtown and ins instilling urgency, wow, I got a three-year window, let's open now, and no taxes to those three years, we can reignite Main Street. Like the it. cities then put trees in, turn them into mall areas, add parking. Everybody gets behind it, and when Main Street lights up again, optimism does too. You've got to run for the presidency, John. Come on, it's that simple. You've got a compelling message <laughs> right there, and you deliver it in an entertaining fashion. John Taffer, everyone, he will be back. Thank you, John.